So I'm going to go back into it and just bring in a few more packages. So what's left? Got the browsers. I'll bring an opera. I think that's reasonably lightweight. I have a feeling it's binary, really. It's not compiled from source. Um, I think I'm going to do Firefox and Chromium separately because they're quite big, especially Chromium. Uh, so I'll just bring in these packages. So it looks like that's nearly it. Right, so we've got some changes to make here. Um, got a license update for Opera. Um, so I think I'll do that one first. That'll be the easiest of those. So it's. Um, up 2018, yeah, it's been updated, so I'll just change that. I don't think it will make any difference to the output, but I'll rerun the update anyway, just in case. Right, so what's happened here? So required by Blender. Ah, oh, right, okay, so Blender can only use Python 3.7. <coughs> And that's causing things like NumPy, where is it? Yeah, it's currently installed as 3.8, Python 3.8, so it needs to have 3.7 activated, that's what that's saying. So there's two ways around this, I could either activate 3.7 globally <clears throat> which will probably bring in a load more to be recompiled. But beans, it's only one package that's causing this um, requirement of 3.7. I'm going to just add in this particular um, package with that version. So what I have to do is to do no pi portage package dot use. And if I can remember the, right, I'll have to look at that, I forgot about that OpenGL one. Um, I can remember the syntax. Um, I think it's something like Python underscore targets colon, yeah it's gone green. So that activates Python 3.7 for NumPy. So if I recall this command. Oh, 
actually I should have looks like I should have done setup tools first because um, when I've done the no it actually oh, it did say if I go back that um, this is a dependency required by NumPy so <clears throat> if I actually put in that first set up tools 513 yeah one of the following is required to complete so really what I should have done is put this in first so I'm going to put that in to the package.us. So I'm going to comment this one out at the moment. Put this setup tools uh, in with the same Python targets and then rerun the update. So if I didn't have Blender installed, I wouldn't be doing this. So this is purely because of Blender, and this would happen um, regardless of the big update that I've done. Even if you're just syncing up and this had just happened in the latest sync, then what I'm doing now would have to be done anyway. I'm not sure if that's made a lot of difference. So it's saying that PY socks needs the same. It could be just a case of rerunning these until I mean I could add all these in, but it may be possible to not add them all in. Oops. Um, I just thought another way of getting around this, and maybe another version, it may be an unstable version, but there may be a different version of Blender that doesn't need 3.7, that's another possibility. So after this um, update commands run, I'll just check that as well. No, that's wanting numpy. So if I do e query um, y and then blender, it'll tell us what versions are. So the only stable version is the current version. Um, could try looking at the latest one. So e query u for the use flags blender to equals Blender dash two dot nine one dot two and oh right yeah there is still there is an option there for three dot eight so this might be a better way of doing this to go for an unstable version of Blender but I suppose it depends on how unstable they are whether you're relying on how the earlier version works or not. Um, also, if you go for the latest version, latest unstable version, how unstable is that? The older ones are likely to be more stable because they're older versions. Um, so, for example, we could look at 2910. So that takes 3.8. Let's look at 290. 
3.1-R1. See that only takes 3.7, so really to do it by going up a version, it would have to be 2.91.0 or 2.91.2. Now I'd assume a small update like that would include bugs, so it may be better to go to, for this version. So based on that information, what I'm actually going to do is to go back to the um, package.use file and I'm not going to put these in and I'm actually going to allow that unstable version of Blender to come in and if you've never done this before to do that we edit the accept keywords file uh, which categories is media graphics so I'll just insert a line there put that in then I need to know the version number so that's the version number there just append that with a dash and then add in this keyword here for 64 bit I think it's squiggle x86 for 32 bit um, and it's better to put an atom in because the um, there may be a stable version that comes in that's newer than this in which case then this gets disabled um, and you wouldn't have to oops, worry about um, you know this being active anymore because there'd be a stable version that would take precedence so if I run the update command now, find it, what we'll find is that we won't have those Python problems, I hope we won't, um, and should be ready to install the new version of Blender, newer than the one we had. Obviously you've got to bear in mind things like save files, are they compatible with the new version? If you go to the new version, the old the save files aren't compatible with the old version if you need to go back, so it's something to bear in mind. But otherwise you just continue what I was doing there with the Python packages or you could just accept the updates and just push, push them all in, but I find it's best to have um, the minimum number of updates as you can. So as you can see, there's no Python problems now because we're not bringing in Python 3.7 specifically for that one package. So it also means we don't have to keep the old versions of Python hanging around as well. So I'll let this update and then all we'll have to, left to do is the two browsers, Firefox and Chromium. So that's finished compiling now, all successfully, got a new version of Blender.
which doesn't require the older version of Python, so that's all good. Um, one thing I'm going to do, which just interested in seeing if this package will build without the um, OpenGL being disabled. So I'll just get rid of that, run the update, and see what happens. It could be the money to enable a flag somewhere. I think it was uh, complaining about gluts missing. So it could be there's a use flag to configure that in a library somewhere to allow this to build if it does fail. Right, looks like it's pulling in another file, so maybe that's what was missing. Or... It may have possibly something else stopping that file coming in. Um, but I, was, I would expect, being there's a new package coming in, that this, this would fix that problem. So that went in OK, that's good. So let's see if this fails now. Okay, so that hasn't run again, so all I'm going to do is just put that back. It's not really something to do with this video, what I'm doing. Um, it's something that probably would have happened anyway with an update, so I can look into that separately if I do need to have that OpenGL flag added in.